Hey, are you a vodka drinker? I most certainly am, but do you know what it is and how it's made? Fortunately for you, I stopped by a local distillery today and they're gonna show us what makes vodka vodka. And then after that, we're gonna mix up some cool cocktails, perfect for a hot day like today. Let's go. What makes a vodka a vodka? Our vodka is made from a non-GMO corn base, which gives it that nice uh, characteristic flavor profile. Now, you're probably wondering, well, corn-based vodka, I thought vodka was potato, I thought vodka was supposed to be wheat. A vodka can be made from any raw ingredient. It can be you know, the grains, it can be uh, sugar, it can be fruit. As long as when the spirit is distilled, it flows off the still at 95% or higher, uh, 190 proof, and then it's run through some sort of charcoal or carbon filtration uh, so that the spirit is reduced of any flavor, character, aroma, or color. All right, so now that we know a little bit about vodka, let's taste it. What is it that I should be looking for when I'm tasting the vodka? Drinking a vodka is very similar to, say, drinking a wine. Uh, you're gonna nose it, you're gonna see what it tastes like on the palate and what the finish is like. So in the nose, a vodka should generally be scentless and very approachable. Uh, shouldn't be harsh or anything along those lines. Wow, that's really clean. I mean, there's like nothing there. On the palate, the vodka should be uh, soft and light bodied. It shouldn't be overpowering or overwhelming. That is an awesome vodka, and I think we should make a cocktail with it. Okay, so if you drink vodka, you probably know what a cosmopolitan is. We're gonna do a cocktail that's based on the Cosmo, but has a unique twist. It uses St. Germain elderflower liqueur, and it's called a Sophisticate. We're gonna use a martini glass, and to start with, you wanna get that nice and chilled with some ice. In a cocktail shaker, you're gonna put half an ounce of lime juice. We want an ounce and a half of St. Germain. Then equal parts, ounce and a half of that awesome vodka. And to finish it off, just a splash of cranberry. We're gonna add some ice to our shaker and shake vigorously. So, not bad for a wine guy, right? This is fantastic. Are you sure you do wine? <laughs> this is a new go-to. Well, Marat, thank you so much for having us at Boardroom. Mark, thanks for coming. Honestly, you keep making cocktails like this, you're welcome back anytime. Hey, you keep making vodka like that, and I'll make the cocktails. Thank you. Wait till the gin comes out. Cheers. Thanks.